Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news about Chinese chip and US ban. In the past few years, the United States has launched multiple rounds of sanctions against Huawei in order to combat China's independent scientific research. At that time, the Western media always liked to exaggerate the tense atmosphere, saying that if there is no technological blockade, China will build a lithography machine, but why these voices have become much quieter in recent years, and even the trend has begun to change to lift the blockade. Because China is really going to develop a lithography machine, and if the blockade is not lifted and the domestic lithography machine is released, their lithography machine will not be sold. The wind has changed. Western lithography machines are blocked from China and Dutch engineers. If they are blocked again, they will be built. In fact, China's lithography machine technology was not backward in the past. As early as the last century, the West implemented a technology blockade policy against China. After catching up, China developed the first distributed projection lithography machine in 1985. At this time the gap between lithography machines and foreign technologies is only seven years. At this time, the West lifted the embargo on China's lithography machines and used the ideology of buying is worse than buying, renting is worse than buying to attack China's innovation consciousness which led to the suspension of domestic lithography machine projects. Today's scene is very similar to that of the past, but China will definitely not repeat the same mistakes. The memory of getting stuck many times has already been deeply embedded in the DNA of the Chinese people like the lack of firepower phobia. We must be independent and not be controlled by others. Since the research and development of Chinese lithography machines is a certainty, more and more Western lithography machine manufacturers have begun to ignore the sanctions. After all, China has the largest market in the world, what do you mean by a confident oriental country? India's population has indeed surpassed that of China, but the sales market is based on consumption power rather than a large number of people. So don't hurry up and wait for China's self-developed lithography machine. Their lithography machines are not only unsold in the Chinese market. Made in China has always been good at price wars, which will undoubtedly take away a large number of orders from them. This is one of the reasons why the West is almost frantically interfering with the research and development of Chinese lithography machines. Why does it seem that only China is developing lithography machines in the world? If you look at the world, you will find that this is really the case. Countries such as the United States, Japan, South Korea, and other European developed countries do not need it at all. Only China needs to develop EUV lithography machines. Among them, the hidden feelings are both sad and helpless, and can also stimulate the scientific research motivation of domestic developers. Since some key components are restricted from being exported to China, it is difficult to develop EVU lithography machines in China, and they can only rely on their own time and more funds to pile up. However, other countries can import from the Netherlands ASML company. As long as these countries maintain friendly relations with the United States, ASML dare not not sell them. In addition, Canon and Nikon, which have the ability to develop lithography machines, may not be able to sell them at all even if they spend a lot of resources to develop lithography machines. 
At present, there are only three companies in the world that need a large number of lithography machines, TSMC, Samsung, and Intel. The output of ASML is completely sufficient. Companies such as Nikon and Canon are too lazy to grab this Red Sea market, but it is more difficult for mainland China to buy lithography machines from ASML. It is still difficult to reach the sky. Some countries are willing to ignore the sanctions and sell a few second-hand units to China, which is enough to make news. In this context, it is not surprising that only one Chinese research and development company insists on developing lithography machines. At present, no lithography machine manufacturer can achieve 100% self-sufficiency in the entire supply chain, but Huawei has such ambitions. After the United States revised its chip rules, Huawei also began to plan China's own chip standards. Different rules mean that they are not compatible, so domestic chips and American chips can only choose one or the other. This is obviously to be with the United States. Western Bloc Arm Wrestling Huawei has set up five armies to support logistics for the research and development of lithography machines. After being sanctioned and blocked, Huawei expanded the scale of its scientific research team year by year and increased its investment in funds. However, when Huawei's overseas market revenue was cut in half, in order to ensure sufficient resource consumption, it integrated its businesses and established five major armies. The core system was reformed with the aim of better promoting the 5G technology of key products and integrating it into the application scenarios of various industries to increase revenue. Only by grasping the revenue can we provide sufficient resource guarantee for the scientific research team. With the strong support of the state, tens of thousands of domestic companies have joined the field of chip manufacturing. The Chinese Academy of Sciences has even issued a military order to achieve a 75% self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips by 2025. The more sanctions imposed by the United States, the more independent China's chip manufacturing will become. Under the impact of the epidemic on the economy, the sanctions imposed by the United States must have caused a lose-lose situation. ASML's regional agent said that the US sanctions against China should not affect their business and they will increase their presence in the Chinese market next year. Investment And raised objections to the US sanctions policy, thinking that this is an invalid and stupid decision. China has the strength to develop top-level lithography machines, but it only takes time, and US sanctions have advanced this time. In the past, Alstom of France and Toshiba of Japan also went through the road of independent research and development, but they all compromised under the pressure of US sanctions. Unwilling to make any concessions As the world's largest importer of chips, China's annual imports account for more than half of the global market share. Once it becomes fully self-sufficient, one can imagine how much the United States will suffer. The more sanctions the United States imposes, the more independent Chinese chips will become. China's lithography machine research and development process is so fast, and we really want to thank the United States for its spare no effort to spur. China is getting closer and closer to the future of independent lithography machines. It only needs China to give more patience and support to the R&D team, and they will surely live up to expectations.